What is up everybody? This is a chatty get ready with me where I will apply my makeup because that's what we do in this channel and I'm just gonna talk about what I've been up to. Of course we have to try some new makeup. Let me show you in the latest Sephora order that I placed I got this sample from the forever new hydrating glow foundation from Dior. We're gonna try that. Gucci. Basically I'm gonna try these samples and we're gonna see if they convince me to buy the full-size product. This is new to me, YSL Lash Clash in, I believe this is in brown. I've never tried a brown mascara. Oh, look at that. It comes with a primer, Glow Veil. Okay, so let's try that too. This is the Dior Veil Primer. Oh, I'm also gonna tell you about my nails. Check out my nails. I did them myself. They are gels. I had never done gels before. It seems to be relatively new to the market. Ooh, this really is nice and glowy. Oh, this feels really nice. I have a feeling that my shade will be this one, 3N Neutral. By the way, this Dior Hydrating Glow Foundation, I'm really liking it. Normally before I film, I at least Google the products that I'm gonna use so that I have an idea of what the claims are and such. But today, this is, you know, the real deal. Just sitting down and doing my, my makeup. There has been no research involved. This is very nice. I like that it, it is giving me nice coverage. It's feeling lightweight also. And what I'm particularly liking too is that even though it's called the glow foundation, it's not too glowy. It's definitely a touch more luminous than say a, what's called a natural finish, but it's not as glowy as let's say, if you're familiar with this skin tint, the one from Hourglass, this is super glowy. Well, it's not as glowy as this. Let me jump on to concealer. I am going to use the one from Dior, Dior Backstage. I have it in the shade 2W. And I'm keeping all of my base products the same brand, just because since we started with the Dior base, when I went to think about which concealer should I use, Dior came to mind. So I am just going to blend this concealer. Not a lot, just something light. Actually, let me get my finger in here since it's kind of tricky for... What is happening with Binky? I think she's overly excited. She gets very excited when she eats. Here's a concealer brush and I am going to tap just to blend out the concealer. Okay, so like I was saying, yeah, this bump on my eye was like four times the size. You can hardly see it now. And it was a gland, one of those glands that were blocked one or more of the glands were blocked. So what I had to do was just put warm compresses on it about four times a day. And after really looking into how to care for my eye and how to make the bump go away, you're supposed to cleanse your eyelids, ideally with something like this. This is a tea tree eyelid and facial cleanser. So normally I just take off my makeup, my mascara, eyeliner, everything with eye makeup remover, but that leaves a film behind. So you're supposed to remove that film, which I never do. I just, it feels like my eyes are now makeup free and therefore they're clean. Well, they are not. Let me add a tiny bit more concealer. All right. No inner corners of my eyes. And so now, after I remove my makeup, I'm making sure to wash, to scrub my eyelids with that cleanser. I'm not gonna bother with bronzer. We're gonna go straight into blush. This is a drugstore blush from NYX Sweet Cheeks in the shade Nude Tude. This shade is very nice. I'm really liking uh, this shade of blush. It's that beigey sort of shade very natural but it still gives you some some nice color oh look at that and i'm using this brush that i i got a few months ago this is from sigma contour slash blush f53 air this is a dual fiber brush which means that it has two sets of bristles some short and some long they're airy and it is particularly nice for cream product application. Let me go in with some more just so that you're able to see it in the camera. What a pretty color. Very natural. 
I'm thinking, is it too natural? But no, I mean, I'm just going to, I'm going to brunch, so this is perfect. I'm just going to take whatever's left on the brush and I'm just gonna put it here on my forehead. All right, and now I am moving on to the eye makeup. I am gonna be using a palette from Viseart that I've had for, for a little while, but I, I haven't really used it much. Let's see, I am gonna go in, first as a base, I'm gonna take this bone shade. Let's put on a cream eyeshadow. I'm gonna use the One Solo Shadow from Merit in the shade Vaquetta. Take some in the same brush that I used for concealer. And let's see what happens. Let's see, since I'm wearing a rosy shirt, I am going to use this rosy tone here. And I'm gonna use this shade to start defining the crease. Now in this eye, same thing. I am starting to define the crease. So excited to wear eye makeup. I don't wear eyeshadow that often, but I do like to wear mascara. And all this time with my eye thing, I haven't worn anything. I mean, not the end of the world, obviously. But you know, being that uh, I have a makeup channel, I like to be able to uh, apply makeup. Now I'm gonna take that same shade in a pointy brush and I'm gonna run it on the lower lash line. And we have some really pretty shimmers here. Let's see, I'm gonna pick this one. I think this one will go really nicely with my shirt. Wow, it's even more shimmery than I thought it would be. Ah, oh, this is so pretty. Look at this shade. Oh, wow. Other side. Now I am going to get a little tiny pointy brush and I'm gonna take that same shimmer and I am going to put it here on the beginning, the inner lower lash line, just to open up the eyes and also here in the inner corner. So I'm bringing it all the way around from the top, from the middle of the eyelid down to the inner corner and then all the way through here. It really makes a difference on how, how it opens up the eye. So again, inner corner and then we bring it through the lower lash line. I want a tiny bit more definition. So I'm just gonna wipe, I'm wiping off the brush and I'm gonna go in with the darkest shade and I'm just gonna put that in the outer corner of my eye here on the lash line. And taking this color also on the lower lash line. Oh, pretty. Perfect. I need to make sure to separate the brushes that I'm using so I can wash them or at least clean them by dipping them in this Cinema Secrets brush cleaner solution, which also disinfects, I'm pretty sure. So just getting all that color off the brush, it works so well and it dries in seconds. So it's very, very handy. Let me show you the bottle. This is what the bottle looks like. Highly recommend. But first, lip liner. I am going to be using one from NYX in the shade Soft Brown. So about my nails, I'm so excited. I used to wear acrylics like 20 years ago, but then I stopped and whatever, I, I had not gotten back into them. But then I started the channel and I show my hands a lot, so I kind of wanted them to look a little bit more, a little bit, I don't know, nicer and more feminine. So I tried press-ons. I kid you not. The very first time I tried press-ons, I took them off after a week or so, and I had a green spot on one of my fingers, which means that water got in and a fungus started to grow. And I was like, okay, definitely I don't want this. So forget it, I'm just gonna forget about nails. This was a few months ago. Then I tried another set of press-ons where you stick them, instead of regular glue, they come with a sticky tab. So you put on the sticky tab that is like a jelly sticker. You put it on your natural nail and then you put on the press-on. The thing is that the sticky tab, it's kind of thick. So the nails end up looking like a pistachio shell 
on your on your finger and the cuticle area is still not smooth like the area between the nail and your cuticle is still not seamless so it would catch on my hair the nail would catch on my hair the cuticle area water was probably getting in so after just like three days i was like no i i need to get these off so then i started looking for i don't know how i ended up looking at gel nails here on youtube i watched videos on how to do the gel nails myself for about four days that's all i did and i was so excited to order everything that i needed and do them myself because it was gonna be a lot cheaper than going to the salon and getting them done there all right gucci the shade is called call it a day what is this like a lip balm let's see okay this brush i'm never gonna <laughs> put on enough product with this brush. It's just not grabbing it. It'll take forever. So I'm just gonna scoop it out with my nail. Excellent tools for this. Hmm. I like how hydrating it feels. This seems to be a tinted, tinted lip balm. Not sticky in the least bit. Hmm. I do taste the, uh, the perfumey scent. You know how luxury products usually have a heavy fragrance so this is what it looks like it is sheer it's simoleant it's hydrating but it's not sticky this is very nice but does it convince me enough to buy the the whole thing i don't think so no i can do without this next i'm so excited to try this brow gel from rare beauty i've heard so many good things about this mainly that it really holds your brows in place because I do have some brow hairs that want to come down and they're thick. So they're quite unruly and I can't really get them to do what I want them to do. So we'll see how this works out. Let's see, this gel. Okay, so I, I can feel it start to dry and it's, it's hardening as it's drying, but is it keeping those hairs in place. And here I'm looking at the ones down here, especially when they're not fully grown, but they're like a quarter of the length that they're going to be. They kind of just stick up or they point they point down. I think this is this is pretty good. Let's see these right here. I'm going to brush them up first. I think that this gel is very, very promising. Now let's try the YSL Lash Clash. Ooh, this is a big wand. I think I'm going to remove the excess with my napkin here. Yeah, I'm just removing all that excess because I have a feeling that there's a lot of, yeah, it looks like there's a ton of product in those bristles. Is this brown finally? It doesn't say. Really? No, doesn't. So how am I supposed to know? Because this does not look brown. I'm just gonna assume it's black. I do like it. That's a lot of product that this brush holds amongst the bristles. You see all those clumps of product in the bristles? I don't know, let's, let's keep going. Yeah, this is not very easy to to maneuver because it's so it's so big that I I can't really get a nice hold of my lashes to coat them. It's more like you know the difference between how a comb is able to get in your hair and comb through your hair whereas this side kind of just gets on the surface and it's really nice to like make really sleek ponytails but this is not gonna get into the hair grab it and and brush through it well the same thing with these bristles all right let's see how are things looking i'm just gonna add more blush quite a bit more blush i feel like i need a little bit more more color i am really liking the dior the forever new foundation forever forever glow and the primer really really nice Okay, yeah, there we go. And the lip balm, it feels really good. Consistency-wise, it's reminding me of the Summer Fridays. It's a tad thinner than the Summer Fridays one. Feels really nice on the lips. All right, so there is my blush. All I need is a little bit of powder to 
lock everything in. For that, I'm gonna use my Kosas Cloud Set Powder. Just looking for a brush here, maybe this one. This powder is, is very light, and what I like is that it doesn't over mattify your makeup. Because I'm wearing the Dior, the, the Glow Foundation, which is, you know, it has some luminosity, I don't want to kill that. I don't want to mattify everything. So I am using this powder, which just locks your makeup in without mattifying, without taking away the glow. I think I need a little bit of bronzer here on my, on my forehead. So I'm just reaching for my house labs. Let me get rid of these clips. Just a little bit of bronzer on the forehead and hairline. A little bit of bronzer there on the hairline. And here on the neck, just because the foundation shade was a bit darker than my own skin tone, so I'm ready. I think that you should go over and watch my nails video right here. Check it out.